Today I'm going to install these Raxium uh, turn signal mirrors for my 2006 Mustang and uh, basically they have the same look of the original ones except they have this turn signal in here and if I was just installing the mirror part it would be really easy because you know you take off this cover and then there's three bolts and then you bolt it back in no problem but in order to have these turn signals work you have to run the wire down into here and tap into the turn signal wires in here under here and to get if you want a clean install you have to get through this wire loom here and uh, I've been reading that that's a pain in the butt so we're gonna see how much of a pain in the butt it is and uh, get these installed and uh, get a clean installation. So the first thing we're gonna do is take off this cover from the mirror and that is the easy part, that's for sure. You just have to pull it off and then uh, disconnect the harness here and drop it. So now you basically can undo the connection here also on the mirror. And so the mirror is free and then there's these three bolts you take off and then put the new mirror on but uh, in order to get the wire through I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have to take the door panel off and to do that there are I believe they're seven millimeter bolts so there's one two in the front one down there two three four on the bottom five six Get it in the video. Up behind here, up behind this panel, and then down here, I need to take off uh, this. And there's bolt in there, and possibly I think this cover here also is hiding some bolts. So let's uh, get them all out and get this door panel off, which I really don't want to take off. But in order to get through this loom here. You know, you're going to have to get inside the door. I think the first thing I want to do is take these covers off. And I got a pick tool here for this one. Hopefully I can just get in there and pull it out. Okay, well, there you go. It's got three tabs on it, so you want to pull out, but not break it. And then there's a Torx bit back there and then this one here and you also pull on that and it's got so you have to pull from the top because these are the tabs and then these are hooks so you can't pull from the bottom get that off of there and there's another torx bit in there and then we've got all the seven millimeter bolts so let's get those off and then go get my Torx bit. Oh, and I almost forgot this has to come out too. Hopefully we can just pry that up and off. So 
and I'm leaving the window up just in case the mechanism gets in the way. I don't know yet. We'll see. But all I am taking this panel off for is to try and get access to where that wire loom is in the door. I don't think I can get to it without taking the door off because it's way back here. Now we want to uh, pry out this thing here where the window remotes are. I just put a screwdriver in here and pull out on it. And uh, then we can hopefully try this out. So, and then it comes out like that. So they've got two hooks here and then the uh, connections, take those off. And that's how that is connected. This is push pins here, but it's, you gotta pry in there to get it out. All right, so that's all of that. And then we got these Torx bits and uh, they are T27. So there's one in here. and then one here which is why we had to take all that stuff off just to get this off okay same thing with this one looks the same as the other one all right, well, I think I've got everything off and hopefully we can uh, lift the panel off. It's uh, missing, oh, I am missing one. There's another seven millimeter in here. That's way too many bolts holding this on. Another one. Sure did. Missed another one down here. Dang. All this to get the door panel off. Still, I didn't miss any other. Okay. And we lift it up. Okay. Lift it up and then lift up from the bottom. And then we've just got a bunch of connections we need to get off. Uh, the uh, subwoofer connection. And the door lock connection. And then the only one left is the, is the, this connection. And maybe I don't need to take that off. If I can get to what I need to get to from here. So now we've got this. And I need to probably rip this back a little bit. And it looks like there's an opening behind here where I can get up to that. And then we'll see what we need to do after that. I don't, I'm bummed I have to break this barrier, but it's been on there probably since 2006 and doesn't look like it's ever 
been off and unfortunately like I said I have to do at least this much to get behind there trying to keep the rubber from breaking adhesive is just stretching like I said it's been on there a while and I'll try and reuse it it still seems sticky and all I'm doing is pulling on it without trying to rip it off Oh, that one's a lot tougher down here. Is that enough? Yep. So I can stick my hand in there and I can get up to this, uh, get up to the grommet from there. So. So basically I've got pulled it back here. I can stick my hand up and get up to the grommet here. You can see me pushing on that. So that's where we need to run our mirror wires through. And I think to get this part off, all you have to do is just pull it like that. So that side. You can get, let's see if I can get my finger over here. So you can see my finger here, I hope. So now, what's on this side? That's the thing. I do feel, you know, that there is some room here. So if I can get, uh, Pull this down, make it a little straighter, and get a uh, some kind of pulling device through there, or a thicker wire. And then I can uh, pull the turn signal wire through, or actually go maybe go the other way. One way is going to be easier than the other, but this this grommet here. I think this is what everybody is talking about. There's a hard this is hard and this grommet is attached to a connector. Is there enough room, you know, inside the loom and to go inside this hard plastic connector? I don't know. That's what we're going to find out. Okay, to get our access to here, we're going to remove this or get that out of the way, but we need to remove this trim piece first. That's just pulling up. There's four tabs there. And this is where this loom here is where we're going to tap into for the turn signals to work. The power in the ground when the turn signals turn on and off. So this is where we're trying to get to get the wire from here down into the door, out through the loom, and then down here. So now this kick panel needs to come off and there's a, uh, a push pin there on the back side here and I'll get that out and then see what how much movement we get in the kick panel. Okay, so here's the push pin. Now this should be theoretically loose. Theoretically. Oh, well, there you go. 
more push pins. I like the way they did that part at least. Okay, so now, now what? All right, everybody, after an hour of futzing around, trying not to break stuff and not drills and not take things apart, this is what I ended up doing. So I got a somewhat thick piece of wire and on the very bottom, well, and on the top, but I went through the bottom, on the very bottom of this connector, it actually goes through. So my idea was to shove all the wire I can into there and then try and grab it from down here. And unbelievably, that worked. So now I need to uh, attach the mirror wire here and pull it back down this way because on this side, you've got this connector and that's not gonna go through there. So I feed, got the wire to go through here. I'm gonna attach it on this end, pull this end through and this should come out over here. And that's through the grommet. It's gonna go through the grommet into the body and come out here and go down here to the wiring harness down here to the wiring harness right here. So this is inside the body. Oh my gosh, what a pain in the butt. But I think that's the secret with to getting this done and all this other stuff that I took off, I didn't need to do, but I had to scope out the situation and try and figure it out. So uh, that is what I'm going to do. And then I'll show that hopefully after I've got the wire pulled through or maybe I'll just video it how do I keep the enough so close yet so far to use this flexible wire that I can shove through there and maybe pull this wire here without pulling off the connector of course <laughs> always something Can't get a good camera angle of this, but I guess I could try. So I'm going through the grommet with this green thicker wire. Or not. I thought I was. Yeah, this is just, I and mean, I can see why they did not, nobody wants to do this. Oh, going the wrong way, see? Almost messed that up. All I'm doing is trying to get this wire through here. You would think you could just push this right through there. Come on, 
I'm trying to go along the bottom of this grommet because there seems to be room down at the bottom, but I just can't, I can't even get this wire through here properly. I think I'm going to try and use this other wire that I pulled through to get this and pull that through first and then attach it again to this wire and hopefully I can pull the wire through that way. I just I mean, there's got to be a way to do this easier, but as I said, I'm out of ideas here, so. So that's in there. So I'm going to pull this wire through with the green wire because uh, it's... It's tough, and I don't want to break my mirror wires. And once I get this one through, it should be easier to pull the red one through with this wire. Let's try this. Slow and steady, right? Try not to hook any of the existing wires. Come on. Yep, grabbed another wire on the way down. Gotta be really careful. I sure hope I didn't disconnect any wires. Like I said, that would be that would be a disaster. Don't pull too hard. Okay. I got the stupid wire through here. I guess I would recommend taping this because I didn't and of course it grabbed a wire, an existing wire. That was stupid. I think I'm okay, but we'll see once we put it back together if I that I really don't want to cause myself more work. And nobody wants that. So now we try and get this through there without breaking this. And then come out one of these holes. Probably maybe this one I can get the green wire get it up through here or maybe just maybe just up here that's probably good enough but seriously I think I'll be happy with this once it's actually done but getting to this point definitely is not fun but now that I've figured out how to do this the other side just it has to go easier than this. Has to. And I'm taping this just so I don't rip off the connector while I'm pulling the wire through the grommet. And once we have this, route it up through here, then maybe I'll decide to put the mirror on. 
And then the only other thing we have to do is uh, connect the wires down here, which of course is the easy part, but seriously, no wonder they don't give any instructions. <laughs> All right, let's get, let's finish this. Let's try and get this wire through the grommet. Oh my gosh. <sighs> And pull on this, get some room here. Make sure it's going on the bottom. Oh my god, it's a miracle. Okay, I got it through. Got it through the grommet, got it through here. Let's get more of it. And then back up here. Make sure we got enough to connect to the mirror. Take off this tape. Definitely gonna shorten this video. I guess I had to record it just to go through the aches and pains of it. Oh, yeah. Okay, connector still connected. I'm going to come out this hole here, run it up to here, okay, stick this thing back on. like we still have some stickiness on it. <sighs> Try and seal it around the wire there. Okay, now we just take off these three bolts, put the mirror in, and then connect the wire and oh, Work on connecting the rest of it up. 11 millimeters. A weird number. And that's all it takes to take your mirror off. Okay, here's the replacement one. Everything the same except for the uh, <laughs> giant rubber thing.
right. So the mirror fits excellent. Exactly like OEM. And now I've got my little connection here. Well, let's just make the turn signal or the mirror connection there first. And then this one is with the door panel. And then this is the important one for the turn signal. Okay, so we got that much. Now let's push the grommet back on properly in the door. This one might be a little harder. Yeah, this one's gonna be a pain in the butt to get the grommet on after it came off. Probably should, you know, make sure everything works first. But, uh, you know. Oh yeah, that's a pain. Pain, a pain, a pain. Now we gotta make the connections here. We need to find the uh, red, white with red. Didn't. Our wiring loom here, our harness. We're looking for the. We have to cut some of this tape, unfortunately. White wire with a red stripe and then a black one according to the directions. There's only 500,000 wires in here. Well, here's a black one. This one's pretty thick. It's got to be that one. So here they are. Those are the ones we tap into. I'm just gonna go verify. All right, now let's uh, let's get this a test. Well. It says attach it to the white wire with the red stripe. Well, gee, there's two of them. So, how do we know which one's the right one? I don't know if I have to guess or, or what, but uh, the black one's pretty obvious. 
So maybe we can connect that one first. Use these squeeze connectors. Push that over the wire. So I'll do it this way. Push that part over the wire. And then this pushes in the other open end all the way till it bottoms out. Then you oops, you kind of hold that there. Get some pliers. And the pliers. And try and squeeze that down to pierce the wires. And hope to hell you made a connection and then snap that over. So that's how easy it is to tap into those. But the big question is on the white wire, which one of these do I use? And then if you do it wrong, you know, what's going to happen then? So let's think about this here. Maybe I can put a, a pin in there and use my test light. Maybe I'll do that because then I can connect the test light to the pin and the ground, turn the turn signal on and see if that comes on, the light comes on. If there wasn't two white wires with a red stripe, I wouldn't even worry about it, but it doesn't really say which one's the right one or if they do the same thing, so. And I really don't wanna do this either so I'm trying to push the yeah and I'm not doing a good job I'm trying to push the pin through the insulation here hope I made connection uh, try and get the negative side connected to something that's going to conduct and then all right well let's get the keys and see what happens with our turn signal Okay, well that sucked, uh, since my radio is Bluetooth, once I turned it on, it switched over to that and turned off my video, but uh, I did use the test light, I put a pin through the wire, and then I put the ground of my test light uh, over here on the door, and then I touched the pin with the probe and then turn the turn signal on and this started flashing which means that was the right one and as you can see there are two white wires with red stripe so um, I'm fairly certain they're not exactly the same function that would be kind of weird because the other turn signal is going down the other side supposedly so uh, you might, if it doesn't work right the first time, you may have gotten the wrong white with the red wire. So, but now I've got them connected and uh, I'm going to try it out again. All right, you really need to make sure that these uh, connectors are piercing through the teeny tiny wires. The uh, factory wires, I probably have no problem, but the connection has to be made between the teeny tiny wires and this connector is a little large, so I had to 
basically strip some wire off of both of these uh, mirror wires and then redo this connector and uh, now um, I made sure to test with my test light that it got up to here and then when I connected it it still wasn't working well then I went back and looked at the ground and redid that connection and now finally we got a working turn signal I think I've run into every single problem that there is so I'm gonna put this side back together and then Hopefully the other side will be less of a hassle, but really this connection should have been the simplest thing and it even that was not simple. So, uh, but I've successfully got the wire from here, through the pan, through the door, through the grommet, into the body, coming out here, and then down to the, the wires down here, and I'm going to have a super clean connection not worry about uh, leaks or anything. Well here's a, an issue when coming through this hole here because uh, there is a uh, a pin that goes through there so you could theoretically cut the wires when you're putting this back this uh, kick panel thing back in so um, I think I'm gonna reinforce that with some tape and uh, make sure it's on the bottom of this thing because there's not this knife edge at the top and hope that that's enough to uh, not cut into the wire. Okay, I got that put back on and let's test it just to make sure I didn't cut the wires. Turn signal on. And it's still working, so hallelujah. And continue to put this side back together. All right, that's one side done. You can see they are in sync. Looks pretty cool. Now I'm going to do the other side, which I am not going to film unless there's something interesting to say about it. But I may show how I fish the wire through the grommet and through the connector. So you can see how I did it. I'm going to try and show this without stepping on the friggin' wires. Okay, so you got to take this grommet off of the connector and then in the middle on the bottom there's a somewhat there's little spaces all over but most of them are closed and then basically I'm just shoving wire through the bottom one until it gets through and I cannot do this with one hand so I'm gonna go I don't even know how to show this to you, but that's what uh, that's what I did. So it's right about here. This is the middle bottom, and if you push a wire through there, it'll there's a spot where it'll actually go through, and then just keep feeding it in there. Feeding it, feeding it, feeding it, and then uh, down here, get your other stiff wire, and there should be enough wire hanging around. It's like inside of this cavity here, because over here, it doesn't come out over here. It's stuck inside of here. So, and then hopefully you can see it or grab it, pull it through here, and then pull the uh, mirror wire with that wire through and down here so that's what I'm going to do again and hopefully much quicker than the first time all right I don't know I can't really get a good view of it but it's definitely same thing on this side through the bottom very middle 
kind of cavity it actually goes through. I pushed all the wire in there and then I fished it out with this. Pulled it through here. So now I have my pool wire to get the mirror wire from over here through the door, through the grommet. I'm gonna try and get uh, try and get this wire through the grommet and uh, just do one pull. Because on the other side I had to do it like two different two different ways and I don't wanna I wanna uh, get that through. I just did it that way to prove that I could pull this mirror wire through this grommet. So now let's uh, try and get this wire through the grommet here and then pull the mirror wire back out down here and we are almost done. All right, just a note on the passenger side on this 2006 Mustang to get the turn signal to work you need to tap into this reddish pink with white stripe for the positive and then a black wire with a blue stripe for the negative there is no straight black wire like the instructions say so I hooked it up this way and the turn signal works so I am done with both sides uh, like I said this is a pain in the butt installation just because of the routing the lights but I like I said I wanted it to go through the wire loom into the body and not run it some different way workaround way and that made it ten times harder now I need to get this this rubber back on to the connector which is a pain in the butt too so if you want to if you want to do this um, you're gonna probably curse a lot so but uh I think I got the hard parts done trying to get that rubber back on the connector is also a pain in the butt on this side but uh, once I get that done I will be all done so that's how you install these Raxium turn uh, Raxium mirrors with turn signals built in and run the wiring and get them working That's it. Good luck with your installation.